Today we are gonna go on a trail run. We're gonna use the fully optioned out MB Scaler 1941 Willys Jeep. We have a trailer, a gun. We have a tent, but we're not gonna use the tent today. And we actually purchased the driver, Captain America. A little bit of World War II roots there. Last time we were just in the backyard, but today we are actually going to venture out into the creek. Look at that bullet. How scale is that, huh? Here we go. We're using a new GoPro Hero 10 to give you a little bit of slow-mo in high res. Oh, that works out. The steering on this vehicle actually turns. So if you had a driver with a flexible arm, you could see his arm move left to right. So we're going to go on a creek trail run and I'm going to talk you through some of the highlights of what you're seeing. So the vehicle is on coil spring, not quite leaf spring, about $300. And what's cool is it has got options. The gun is about 40 bucks, the trailer about 100, the top is 20, but you could get the whole package for 160 now. And as realistic as this vehicle is, it actually performs. It's gonna come in today with a DRX4 Defender and a low CG vehicle. And we'll see how it can hang. Here it is climbing. This is actually a pretty steep hill and very loose. It's got enough power to pull it through and traction. That's a FJ Cruiser that it's towing just to make things interesting. And right there, super cool how the trailer articulates, pushes the vehicle on the downhills. Tries to jackknife it. But the vehicle is heavy enough to handle it. One thing really cool too, is even though this vehicle is very detailed, most of the weight is pretty low. So the center gravity is not too hot and the weight gives attraction. Amazing thing is these tires actually work. They're very scale Jeep tires and a fun fact is they look the same going forward as they go in reverse and that's so the enemy can't tell which way you're going by just looking at your tire tracks. Right here it's really struggling. It has an upgraded metal hitch that thing's got to be tightened, but it's good that it released so the vehicle can actually make it up this big route. I don't think there's any way with the trailer. Right there, that's actually pretty steep, but a 10 to 12 inch drop. Some of the other vehicles had problem with it, but this thing is nice and long and heavy, so it can do it. Here is descending very a very loose rocky dirt road the trailer is pushing it but the weight of the MB scaler is able to handle it fine right there just love the way this thing articulates cold spring for performance but they do have a smaller version of it about a half pint version of this with full leaf springs doesn't perform as well, but looks more scale as it tilts up. Right here, it's gonna be very tough. This body has a lot of sharp edges. It's not built like your Jeep or your Tacoma with sliders. So you really gotta watch those corners. And it's a very wide body as well. But you know, there's something to be said about not using what we call a cheater rig, something, something scale. Of the 10 to 20 people we saw on this trail on this evening this was this was the one that attracted the most attention especially the, from the kids so yeah it's a good Christmas present for the kids or for yourself the lights are switchable I believe there's two modes of, of throttle something really cool is the lights are yellow in color and they're dim and 
Why is that cool? It's because it's realistic. You're not putting LEDs on it that are colored white and super bright, which are not appropriate for that time period. And it really is something else. Yeah, look at that Defender over there. Looks like a Close Encounters of the Third Kind. And it really puts you in kind of that realism where you have to squint and really let your eyes adjust to the to the little light. So there you go. Hope you enjoy that. Links will be in the description.